Hey, second graders. Today we are going to be drawing Louis Pasteur, and Louis Pasteur was a famous scientist. So let's go ahead and get started. So we're going to start with his nose, and I'm going to go about mm, four finger spaces down, and I'm going to give him a good curvy nose, almost like a bird. Then I'm going to give his nostrils on the side. and the bridge of his nose kind of coming up on both sides. And that gives me a good placement for his eyes. So I'm gonna come right over here and do a top curve line over here on this side, just like that. And then I'm gonna connect those sides. And I'm gonna make his iris kind of um, more towards the top of his eye. So I'm just gonna make kind of like a half circle on both, just like this. And the pupil's gonna go right there at the top and I can cover that in, color that in. Okay. I'm gonna do his eyebrows and his eyebrows are gonna come over his eye and down like that. Same thing here, up and over. I'm gonna add little lines in there. Almost like crazy hair eyebrows. Okay. I'm going to go to the side of his head and I'm going to do his ears because it's going to give us a good placement for his hair and his beard. So I'm going to come in here, I'm going to add a little bit of texture in there, lines for his ears. And then he has a full face of hair. So right under about a finger space down. I'm just gonna do a little curve coming that comes up for his mouth, but really everything else is going to be hair, okay? So I'm gonna start over here and I'm gonna use my marker and I'm just gonna make hair that kind of comes straight down from his ears. And then I'm gonna do kind of like an outline that kind of comes down all the way, makes the curve and up. Makes a really good curve, almost like it's a chin, but it's hair. I'm gonna go right under his nose, and I'm gonna make a line that goes down, and this is gonna come all the way around. Almost like a hill, but with little lines, just like that. Then from here to here, I'm gonna do little lines And then from the side to his mustache, I'm going to do lines. And I can fill that in with lines now for his hair and his beard. Okay. For his head, he kind of had a side part. So I'm gonna come right over here and I'm gonna do a little curve that comes down like that. And then a curve that comes over, up and around for his hairline. And then I'm gonna just finish that off and make a curve that comes to the ear. And again, I can add lines in there if I want for his hair. And he wore a nice lab jacket. So I'm gonna make a line that comes down, but I'm gonna make almost like an L comes like this for the collar of his coat. And then from there, I'm gonna make his shoulders that come off the page, just like that, okay? And there is our Louis Pasteur. So now I can get started on my coloring. So I'm gonna take my apricot or peach and I'm gonna color all those skin areas, his ears and his face. where the skin is showing, he's very hairy, so I can skip that hair part, but right here in that mouth area. And then I'm gonna take my gray, and I'm gonna color all of his hair gray. I'm gonna make him in his older age. 
all the way around, color that hair in. And again, you can pause if you need to. Do brown for his eyes. And then for his jacket, I will do that black. So I'm gonna do this color part, dark black, really pushing hard so that I can tell where his hair stops and his coat begins. Again, you're gonna be much better at coloring. Take your time and do an excellent job for your calendar. And then I can go and do his shoulders. Again, you can add some fun things to the background if you want. He was known for pasteurization, which helps get rid of all those nasty germs in our milk. So if you wanna draw a milk carton, you could. Whatever you want to do. And there we go, there is Louis Pasteur.